I'd like to, hi, welcome everyone um, to our Wednesday session of Ease Yoga. And uh, here I have our candle, lighting it for each and every one of you. Sending this light from my home into your home. And thank you for showing up. We talked a little bit about routine as some people were moving in this morning. And um, this is nice to continue with some of those things that feel really familiar in our lives. And as I was thinking about this morning's class, one of the things that came up for me was um, this idea of prayer. And I grew up in a house that um, was very agnostic, almost atheist, um, but I used to pray to my father who had passed away. But prayer wasn't a big part of my life, but I've been thinking about prayer during this time and all the emotions that are swirling. And before every class, I pray um, that you all will receive what you need. And one of the things I've learned from that prayer is that sometimes the things that we need to ask for need to be a little bit, the specifics don't always work. <laughs> that these idea of, of having a, a prayer that um, asks us to be guided in some way so I just want to ask um, of you today, at a certain point when we're in child's pose, just to take that moment to ask for what you, in a big way, would like for yourself and for the world um, and, and see how that feels. And as we work into this idea of rituals and routines in our life, if it does feel good, maybe it's something you can add in here or there or, you know, mornings, morning prayer, afternoon prayer, evening prayer, whatever feels good to you. So, um, hi, Mark. Uh, so here we are all together. Um, candle is lit. Hopefully you found your space wherever you are. I have myself pinned so I can't necessarily see everyone that's on, but um, I wanna welcome you um, today. So let's take a moment right where we are. Find your grounding to the earth, pulling away the fleshiness of the buttocks and take a moment to inhale the shoulders up towards the ears, take a deep inhale and exhale, roll those shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, taking the chest a little bit forward. And then for a moment, taking your right palm and just nesting it inside your left palm, bring your two thumb tips to touch. Just allow your hands to settle, maybe your eyes close, maybe there's a gentle gaze in front of you. And begin to turn, tune into breath here. Tune into curiosity, noticing the length of your breath, the texture of your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. Begin to tune in to the texture of the air, the feeling of the air on your skin. Notice your top lip meeting your bottom lip, your top eyelid maybe meeting your bottom eyelid. Tuning into the nuances of the body here and now in this moment. Maybe your ears tune in to the sounds inside the room and outside the room. And 
let's see for a moment if we can make the breath just a little deeper, a little fuller. So inhaling for four counts, holding the breath at the top while you're full, and then slowly, gently exhaling for four counts. Inhaling deeply for four counts, filling up. Holding the breath at the top. And then slowly, gently exhaling for four counts. Let's hold while well void of that breath for four, three, two, one. And then inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold four. Three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Take it at your own pace, holding while full. Maybe you want to play around with it, making the inhales or exhales a little longer. You can work to make your exhale longer than your inhale. Let's take a moment here. Coming to breath is one thing we have for sure to bring us to this very moment. Letting go in that final round, exhaling the air and coming back to normal breath. And then inhaling fingertips up above, take a deep inhale. And then exhale, bring hands to heart. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth and let out the air. One more breath like that, deep inhale. And exhale. Fingertips are going to wing out to the side and then take and gather all the energy around you and bring it in towards your heart. Do one shared breath in community and three ohms. You can do them silently inside or allow that voice to flow from within. Deep inhale. Exhale, let out the air and inhale to OM. Allowing the hands to float down towards the thighs, take the chin to the chest and begin to rock the head, side to side, ear to shoulder. Heavy like a bowling ball, releasing through the neck. And as the head rocks side to side, take a moment to pause with right ear to right shoulder. Inhale the right hand overhead, and take that right hand to the left ear. Allow the, le the left fingertips to come down towards the earth and breathe into the left side of your neck. Feel some length on the left side body and allow that left shoulder to be heavy as you ground down through the left fingertips. 
Breathe here, maybe Ujjayi breath, a nice little ring in the back of the throat, a little restriction of the breath. And then we're gonna allow that right hand to float to the earth, chin comes to the chest and rolling that left ear to the left shoulder, right hand or left hand inhales high and joins that right ear. Right fingertips ground down, feel some length on the right side body. Notice your breath here. Notice your lungs, your chest. Notice the sensations in the head, the neck, the shoulder, the eyes, the jaw. Nice. And then one more deep inhale here. Exhale, release that hand, take the chin to the chest. You're gonna inhale both hands up overhead, interlace the fingers and place your head on your hands on the back of your head. Get a nice stretch through the back of the neck, allowing those elbows to come down just like icicles tripping off of a house. And then maybe press your head into your hands and your hands into your head. Get a nice stretch through the back here. And then let's release those hands and keep your head where it is and give yourself a little massage on the back of the neck. Just right there at the base of the skull, massaging with your thumb and your fingertips of your dominant hand. Nice. Move your way down your neck just a little to right where your shoulders are. And then release those hands and then look up, up, up. Fingertips to the earth. Take your hands back behind you and take your chest up and look up. Open through the chest. Nice. We're going to allow those fingertips to rise high to the sky. Look up to your fingertips and then deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth as you cactus arms. <sighs> inhale, reach. Exhale through the mouth. Cactus arms, and one more, inhale, and exhale, nice. Fingertips reach all the way up. We're going to twist to the right, so taking the left hand to the right knee, take the right fingertips behind you. Lift up through the spine as you inhale, just imagining a cord pulling through the center of your crown chakra, and then exhale, twist back a little more, looking over that right shoulder. Deep inhale into the belly, and deep exhale. One more breath here. Settle into the posture, inhale. And exhale, nice. We're gonna twist through center, allow those fingertips to rise up. And then you're gonna form two fists and bring them down to your hips as you exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, reach. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and last one, inhale. Exhale, clear it out. <sighs> Fingertips reach to the sky, and let's twist to the opposite side this time. Right hand to that left knee, lift up through the chest. One more time, lengthen through the spine, find that length through the center of the crown chakra, and then settle in as you turn over that left shoulder. Know that all of this twisting is doing so much good for your internal organs. Two more breaths here, inhaling. Exhaling, one more breath, inhale, and exhale, nice. Fingertips reach to the sky. Interlace the fingers one more time, press through the palms, reach high, framing the ears, and then take a deep inhale. We're gonna just, uh, just dip towards our right side. Keep both sits bones planted as you press through the palms, nice. And then come through center and gently rock to the opposite side. Feel the length out of that right hip. Nice. Come back through center. Release the hands and shake them out. Just shake them, shake them, shake them. Nice. We're going to make our way gently onto our backs from here. Actually, let's release the feet first and tick tock the knees side to side, side to side. Nice. And then coming on to your backs, 
take your knees in towards your chest. Calm your knees and begin to draw some circles here. So allowing your knees to come in towards your chest. Take some time here to roll side to side, get a nice little rocking. And with this nice back massage, take a little time right here. And then take your arms out in T position and allow both knees to come over towards the right side. So your left knee is stacked on top of your right knee and your arms are out in T position to the side. Allow your left shoulder to ground down into the earth. And then you're going to inhale that left hand high, flip your right palm up and come and clap hands, left hand on top of right. Inhale, reach those left fingertips for the sky and exhale, reach that left hand all the way back and down towards the earth. Inhale, right hand, left hand comes high, meets with that right palm. And then inhale it back through center, exhale, roll, and then look with your, feet, your eyes towards your left fingertips. Inhale, reach that left hand to the right, and then exhale, open it up. Okay, we're gonna stay here for four breaths. You can take your right palm and just place it gently on the outer edge of that left knee. Nice, a little self-assist here. Notice where your gaze wants to go. Do you want to look right? And how does it feel if you look left to the fingertips? So notice this morning how it's feeling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. We're going to come all the way back through center with those knees. You're going to take both legs long and just point and flex and roll the ankles. And then you're going to form a little rectangle over your chest, so grabbing onto opposite elbows. And then engage the core. Be careful with the neck. And then lift both shoulder blades off the earth. Lift high and then exhale, lower down, just gently. Inhale, lift and reach those elbows high, shoulder blades off the earth, and then exhale, lower down. Let's do that four more times. Inhale, reaching, exhale, lower. Inhale, reach, exhale, lower. Last two, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower, and last one. Inhale, let's hang here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Taking the arms out in T position, bend the knees, and then this time drop both knees over towards the left side of the body. Right knee stacks on top of that left knee. Right shoulder grounds down. And then inhale, take that right hand, and take it all the way across to the left palm. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, lower that right hand down. Inhale, reach and come all the way to that left palm. Inhale, back through center and exhale down. Take it back and forth a couple times, reaching with the arm. And then the next time you get back to the right side with that right arm, take it back and then take that left hand to the side edge of that right knee. Just allow yourself to sink into this twist one more time. Five breaths here. Again, notice your breath. Notice your side ribs, your shoulders. Are you holding in your eyes, your hips? Where can you let go? Just a little more. Talk to the body. This is such a practice in yoga to be tuned into these little nuances of ourselves. Inhaling. 
exhaling, inhale, exhale, and last breath here, inhale, and exhale. Nice, come back through center. This time find happy baby, take your peace fingers, grab your big toes, rock side to side here, side to side. Nice. We're going to take our hands behind our thighs and begin to roll up into boat pose. So rock and roll as many times as you want. Play here. Notice the surface that you're on. And then take a moment in boat pose at the top of your mat, just lifting up through the chest. You're going to do a little rowing of your boat. So imagining that you have an oar in your hands, dropping your knees to the left and your paddle goes into the right, and then opposite side. So you're doing a little bit of core this morning, just gently though, taking your boat, maybe down your favorite river. Again, bring imagination into your practice. What body of water would you love to be on right now? Keep going, rowing that boat. And then slowly, gently taking those legs behind you, come into table and patter out your feet. Make some noise. Nice, nice little pounding on the ground. We're gonna bring our toes together, knees come wide, hips back towards the heels. Find your child's pose. This is our moment for prayer that we spoke about at the beginning of practice. So just taking some breaths here, maybe third eye center to the earth. Take a moment, whatever that energy in the world that is bigger than yourself, take a moment, maybe a prayer for the world, a prayer for yourself, someone in need closest to you. Just take a moment for your prayer. What is it? And sealing your prayer with a deep inhale, deep exhale, coming up onto all fours. You're going to slowly, gently reach the right leg behind and curl the toes under and rock forward and back here on the heel of that right foot or on the ball of that right foot. Forward and back, forward and back. Nice. Little tiny bounces. And then bending that right knee out to the right side, draw some circles in fire hydrant here, taking it around in one direction and opposite direction. Nice. Take that right leg back behind you and then your left arm begins to reach out in front of you. Deep inhale, exhale, elbow greets knee, bring it in. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale, elbow to knee. And one more, inhale. And exhale, nice. You're gonna take it long and then take your left hand to the earth. Your right hand's gonna come, your right foot's gonna come to the earth and you're gonna swing that left heel back and come up onto that left knee with your right leg long. Take your left hand down to the earth and then hover that right leg off the earth, a little side plank as your right hand reaches high. Beautiful. Maybe that right knee bends and you take that hand and grab the top of that foot. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Right foot comes to the earth. Let's come all the way up. 
onto the left knee, keeping that right leg down, deep inhale. And then exhale, take your hips back towards that left heel and take your hands down to the earth. Nice, one more breath here. Inhale and exhale, beautiful. Coming all the way back up to your table. Pound up the feet one more time, tops of the feet, grounding down. Nice, this time left leg reaches behind, curl the toes under and rock forward and back, forward and back. You're gonna bend, hover that left leg parallel with the earth, bend the knee, point the toe, and one more time, tiny pulses. Bouncing that beach ball on the tip of that left toe. What color is your beach ball? Bending that left knee, draw some circles, one direction, an opposite direction. Moving it around. And then left leg lengthens, right leg also parallel to the earth, deep inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, elbow to knee, and one more, inhale, and exhale. You're gonna take that right hand to the earth, left shin shimmies over to the side, left foot comes long on the earth, Take your right hand down to the earth, out to the side of that right knee, the right hand down, and then hover that left leg and take the left hand high. Little side plank here, inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, nice. Exhale, you can stay here or bend that knee, grab the top of the foot, get a nice stretch on this side. Two more breaths, inhaling. Exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale, releasing that foot if you have it, taking it down to the earth, come all the way up, reaching with the hips, and then hips come back towards the heel as you take the hands down one more time, get a nice stretch through the left side of that leg, two breaths, inhaling, exhale, inhale, and exhale, nice. Coming all the way up, coming back to your table, patter out the feet one more time. And let's take the crown of the head to the earth, drawing some circles, getting a nice release through the top of the head and through the neck. Take your crown to the earth and roll it around. Really connect in here. Feel into the spaces at the top of your crown. Release the neck, nice. And then from here, find your high plank. Pressing hands into the earth, feet are back. And let's take it up to a down facing dog. Let's come up onto the balls of the feet, take a deep inhale, exhale, lower the heels, take a hard breath. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, hara breath. And one more time, inhale. And exhale, nice. Feet are gonna walk to the middle of the mat and hands are gonna come to meet them. Grab onto opposite elbows and hang here. Take some breaths in your forward fold wherever you are. Breathing. Maybe take your hands to your lower back. Give yourself a nice little pat on the lower back. You can take them to your sides of your hips, maybe slapping your legs, down to your feet. Nice. Once you get down to your feet, interlace your fingers, press through the palms, flat back, rise all the way up. Nice, we're gonna to tilt over towards the right side, reaching through the palms, grounding down. And then inhale through center, exhale, opposite side. 
Nice. We're going to release those hands and slowly press the palms down, down, down. Feel the air as your hands come all the way down to your sides. Come up onto your tiptoes. Walk to the top of your mat. Lower slowly through the heels. Find some walking here as you feel into the feet, feel into your mountain. Palms down at your sides. Ground down here. Little micro bend in the knees. Imagine my hands just coming gently to your heels and grounding your feet into the earth. Imagine fingertips coming up the backs of your legs and then up your spine. And then a gentle hand just on the top of your crown chakra, lift into it just a little higher. Feel the grounding through the feet and feel the lift through the crown of the head. Find your mountain pose, shoulders heavy, fingertips reaching down. Nice. Here you are in this present moment, breathing, standing grounded, in touch with the ethereal. As you inhale deeply, fingertips reach high, reach and gather that energy. Exhale, trace prayer hands all the way down as you flat back, reaching down. Inhale, come halfway and stay here. Pull the shoulder blades together, nose is down. Reach the crown of the head a little forward and play into the weight in your feet. Maybe a little bit more weight into the balls of the feet. And then exhale, lower. Take both hands to the earth. Step your left foot back. Take your left knee to the earth and unfurl your left toes. Cross your thumbs, come all the way up. Deep inhale, open the chest. Exhale, hara, cactus arms. <sighs> inhale, reach through the fingers. Exhale, hara, breath, cactus arms. <sighs> Let's cleanse. One more time, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> We're gonna bring those hands into the heart. We're gonna inhale, reach forward with that prayer hand, and then hook that left elbow outside that right knee. Twist as you press your top palm into your bottom palm. You can hang here on that left knee or curl your right toes under and hover here, pressing through the back left heel. So stay down on the left knee or take that left knee off the earth, your choice, inhaling. Exhale, one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left knee if you're off of it. Take the hands, come all the way up, deep inhale. Exhale, take your fists to your hips, hard breath. <sighs> inhale, lift, feel the breath. Exhale, hard. <sighs> one more, inhale. And exhale, nice. Take the hands, reach them high, open the chest, and then come down and frame that right foot. And then you're gonna curl the left toes under, step the right foot back, high plank. You're gonna lower down, knees, chest, chin, little tiny chaturanga to a little mini cobra. And then take it back, child's pose. Breathe here. Three breaths, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, you're doing great. Exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Pedal up the heels, take a moment to shimmy the hips side to side. You can even rock onto the knife edge of one foot rocking side to side. And then one more time, slowly, gently walk to the center of the mat. This time, take your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, reach your knuckles up towards the sky and shake your head. Breathe it out, inhale. Exhale, so your hands are interlaced, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then release the hands, come all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. This time, bring your palms to touch and let's all go over to the words, the right side, framing the ears. Inhale through center. Exhale, opposite side. 
Inhale all the way up and then exhale, take your hands to your heart. Come up onto your toes if you're not at the top of your mat and gently walk up to the top of your mat. Check down as you lower down through the heels, allow the hands to float down to the side. One more time, do a little march in place and take those feet gently, find your mountain pose, top of the mat. Notice your breath. Take your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly. Just check in and notice how you feel. Maybe picture that most majestic mountain and become that right now in this time, grounded, majestic, beautiful. Inhale, hands high to the sky. Exhale, prayer hands trace down the body, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hang here one more time. Squeeze the shoulder blades, notice your feet, notice your head, lengthen out of your neck and reach forward with the crown. And then exhale, lower to the earth. This time, right foot steps back, low lunge. You're gonna bring that right knee to the earth, unfurl the back toes, then cross the thumbs, come all the way up, lifting. Deep inhale, press that right hip forward and then exhale, cactus arms, hard breath. <sighs> inhale, reach. Exhale through the mouth, you've got it. <sighs> and inhale up and exhale. <sighs> With a deep inhale, bring prayer hands and reach forward. And then take that right elbow outside the left knee, twist in from the belly button, left palm on top of right. As you twist here, you can hang here or curl right toes under, cover that right knee, you're doing great. Stay where you need to be, inhaling, exhaling, inhale and exhale wherever you are. We're gonna come back down to that knee, unfurl the toes, reach high one more time, deep inhale, and then fists come to hips, hard breath. <sighs> Real cleansing of that lung, both lungs, inhale up, exhale, fist to hips, <sighs> and last breath, inhale, exhale, <sighs> hands reach high, open through the chest, and then take the hands down to the earth, frame that left foot, curl the right toes under, step back, high plank. Come through your flow however you like. You can go to your knees or come straight down, maybe up dog, maybe cobra, curl toes under, down dog. Breathe here in your down dog, deep inhales. Deep exhales, shake up the head, pedal out the heels, feel into your down dog. And then from here, right leg rises high in the sky, press through the heels and press through that right heel and even out your hips. And then slowly, gently take that right foot forward. We're gonna take that left heel to the earth, warrior one, come all the way up. Exhale, hara breath, bend the knee, bend the elbows, <sighs> cactus arms. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, press the palms down at your sides, interlace your fingers, open through the chest, deep inhale. Exhale, humble warrior, bow down. Find your breath here and, and humble warrior, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, exhale, release the hands, come all the way up, warrior one. Let's open to warrior two, scooching that right foot across so the heel of that right foot cuts through the center of that back left foot. Straighten the front leg, bring the hands to touch, deep inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, go deep, warrior two. One more time, inhale. Reach the palms to touch, front leg straightens. Exhale, warrior two. You're gonna flip that front palm, 
reach that left hand down the back left leg as that right hand reaches to the back of the room. Keep that bend in that front right knee, keeping the knee over the heel. Finding your peaceful warrior and then bend into that right elbow. Reach that left hand across extended side angle. Nice, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, come back through warrior two. We're gonna come into high crescent. So face the front of your mat, come onto the ball of that left foot, and then bring that right foot across one more time. Deep inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, reach the fingertips back as the crown of the head comes forward. Nice, inhale, high, lifting. Exhale, fingertips back, crown of the head forward. One more time, inhale. And exhale, nice everyone, take it all the way up. Woo! And then exhale, frame that foot, step it back. Skip the flow or join me all the way to down dog. Take it back, child's pose, toes together, knees wide. Take a break, breathe into the back body. Maybe you come to prayer one more time. Breathe into the back body, ground the third eye down into the earth. Inhaling, exhaling. Notice your breath, notice the vrittis, the movement of the mind. Keep the thoughts positive, tether to that which is beautiful in your life. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, hands swing forward if they're not already there, curl toes under, downward facing dog, left leg sweeps high in the sky, send it forward, warrior one, set up on this side, squaring the hips to the front of the room, left knee over that left ankle, nice, deep inhale, Exhale, hara, cactus arms. <sighs> Inhale, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, palms come all the way down. Interlace the fingers. Take that opposite thumb and finger on top. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, bow down, humble warrior. Pull that right hip forward, left hip back. Let the head be heavy, looking back towards that right big toe. Deep inhale. Deep exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale on the inhale, come all the way up, frame the ears. Let's open up to warrior two this side. Nice, we're gonna straighten that front leg, bring the hands to touch up above, deep inhale. Exhale, go deep, warrior two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. I want you to hang here in warrior two. And just for a moment, if it feels okay to you, gentle gaze or close your eyes. Notice what it is to feel into warrior two. Notice the strength of your body, your feet, your shoulders, your legs. And gaze out over your left fingertips. Just feel that energy in the body. There is something about this asana, warrior asana. Just take a moment. Feel that strength in the body, that positioning, that shape of your body. Past in the right fingertips, future in the left fingertips, and that present feeling right here in your body, right in the center, being right here. Nice. You're gonna flip that left palm, drop that right hand, take it back, warrior two. I mean, sorry, peaceful warrior. Reaching back, inhaling. Exhale, give that front knee, that knee a little bit more to the front of the mat, pull it to the left top corner, feel the stretch through the ribs, and then bend that left elbow. Reach that right hand all the way across. You're doing it. Extended side angle, open through that chest. Feel the breath in the body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale, the inhale pulls you back with strength to warrior two. Now we open up to high crescent on this side, come to the ball of that right foot. Shimmy that left foot a little bit wider so you have your base. Deep inhale, open through the chest and then exhale, gently sweep the arms back, fingertips reaching, crown of the head forward. Inhale, come all the way up, reach, good job. Exhale, take it back. And then inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, take it back. We're gonna inhale one more time, open wide. And then come down, frame that front foot, step it back. You can skip the flow or go. Feel the openness. Find your down dog. And then one more time, toes together, knees wide, take it back, child's pose. This time in your child's pose, flip your palms up. Feel any changes, any shifts in the body and notice how it feels. Breathe into the back ribs, two more breaths here, inhaling, exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Nice, flipping the palms back down, walk the fingertips to the top right corner of your mat. You're gonna take your left palm and lay it on the back of your right palm. Third eye center is down to the earth. And then gently lift that left hand and reach back towards your left finger to your left toes so a little stretch it's a little different here left fingertips reaching back right fingertips reaching up to the top right corner of the mat nice and then bring it all back through center left hand reaches to the top left corner of the mat right hand to cross and palm comes to the back of that left hand and then see if you can take that right hand and sweep it all the way back to your right fingertips and feel a little stretch in a different way on this side. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice, come all the way back through center. And let's shimmy onto our bellies for a moment. We're gonna come into Sphinx pose, taking those arms parallel with the sides of your mat. Take your fingers nice and wide. Your belly should be down on the earth. Open up through the chest and feel a nice pull back through the arms, nice. And then from here, you're gonna bend your knees and tick tock the feet gently side to side. And then take your left foot and take the top of the foot to the mat and pull in with your right heel. And then lower that right foot and pull the left heel in. Nice, keep lifting through the chest, lower the left, reach that right heel to the buttocks, just point and pull it in and then release. Let's do that a couple more times each side. You've got it. Nice. Then we're going to lower down all the way onto our belly. Take your chin to your, to your hands and you're making a little pillow with your hands. And then bring both knees in, rock the feet side to side. Beautiful. From here, you bend, you're going to take your left foot to the earth and reach that right hand back towards that right foot. Maybe get a nice little stretch again through that right side, pulling that right foot in towards, heel in towards the buttocks. And then release that side and left hand sweeps back, grabbing that left foot if you can get it and just a nice little Pull in with that left heel towards the buttocks. Nice. Releasing here, coming into table. And then through a little scared cat, 
So knees are hip distance apart. Press up through that lower back and then gently take your hips back towards your heels and press through that lower back. Nice, come back through table, roll the belly under, look up. Exhale, back, scared cat. Couple more here, inhale through cow. Exhale, back, scared cat. And last few breaths here, inhale, cow. Exhale, back, scared cat. Nice. I'm gonna take a moment to come on to your hips and roll the legs all the way out in front. Nice. And just shake out those legs for a moment, pressing through the heels. Take a deep inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, gentle forward fold. Take a moment to inhale, pull the belly button to spine. Exhale, lower down just a little more. Inhale, reach through the ground. Exhale, lower. And last one, inhale. And exhale, nice. And come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Swing those legs back, find high plank. And then lift the hips high, take the right leg high in the sky, bend the knee, draw some circles. Opportunity to flip your dog here, taking your right foot to the earth, reaching back. Come back through your down dog, taking your right leg high, and then right knee to right elbow, bring it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee to nose. One more time, inhale, lift. Right knee to left elbow. Inhale, high. Right knee to right wrist, setting up for pigeon pose on this side. Taking that left leg back open through the chest. Look back at your left foot. And then look over your right shoulder. And then slowly lower down, finding pigeon on this side. Let the head be heavy. Find your breath. Inhaling. Exhale with squared hips. Soften. Maybe using the mantra gentle here. Gentleness through the eyes, through the breath, through the nose through the shoulders, and through the jaw. And gentleness in the mind, in the soul, in the heart, and in the lungs. Five more breaths here, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and last breath here. Inhale, exhale, nice. Coming all the way up, taking that right leg high, draw circles. Opportunity for fallen star or warrior if you want to sweep that left, that right leg in front of the left and do a little balancing on the side through the right arm. Take the left hand high. And then coming back through down dog. Lift the left leg high, draw some circles, bend the knee. Flip your dog on this opposite side if you'd like to or not, your choice. Coming back through center or wherever you are, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, high. Knee to nose. Inhale, high. Knee to right elbow. Inhale, high. And then left knee to left wrist, lowering down one more time, scooching that right leg back. 
looking over the right shoulder at that leg, looking over the left shoulder, and then slowly lowering down this side. My breath. Two more breaths here, inhaling, or more than two. I'm gonna do about seven breaths here. Sink down, find stillness and ease. Find full relaxation into the body. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and last few breaths here, inhale, exhale, and last breath, inhale, Exhale, come gently off of that front leg. Curl the right toes under. Take that left leg high, move it around. If you want to find forward fallen warrior on this side, you can. And then from here, feet walk to hands, hands walk to feet. Come up down onto your buttocks. Lower down into your lower back, bring your knees into your chest. Roll those knees around. We're gonna take both knees over to the right, left arm reaches, palm out, right arm reaches, both palms high. And then take your right hand to your knees. Ground down through the left shoulder. Feel into this twist on this side. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath here, inhale. Exhale through the middle. You're gonna bring both soles of the feet together. Make a diamond shape as the knees drop to the earth. Take your right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart, connecting with that energy. Invite in your angels, your guardian angels always here with you. Feel the air on your skin. Into the sounds around the room and outside the room. Both knees come together, they drop over to the left hand side, tethering that right shoulder down. Take that left hand to your right side of your right leg. Just notice, thinking about prayer and all that it has to offer the world and yourself. Coming back through center. Take the legs long, hands underneath the buttocks. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up through the chest. Legs are long, ankles together, heels on the earth. Take the head back, deep inhale, fish pose. Exhale, lions, let it go. Ha, roar aloud, inhale. Ha, and one more breath here, inhale. Ha, happy baby. Rock side to side, taking your peace fingers to your toes. Find that gentle rock side to side. Laughing happy baby. And beginning to set up for stillness. Allow yourself here to find maybe a blanket, a heavy weighted object, or simply your body on the earth and the shape that it makes. Let it melt into the earth. Allow your body 
to fully let go Soften down, maybe taking something warm, allowing yourself to sink now down into the earth. The work is done. Here you are, you showed up. Now let yourself be, simply be, taking a deep inhale through the nose, filling up, fill up the lungs and then exhale, let it all go. Let go of intentional breath. Let your head just be a pound heavier. How can you let go through the neck and the shoulders? Scan the arms and let them be completely heavy. Scan down towards the heart and let it soften just a little. Notice the gentle flow of your lungs inside your ribs. Send them some love. Follow down towards your belly. Notice the gentle rise and fall of your belly. See if all the internal organs in that space can just loosen just a little and soften. Relax through the buttocks and allow both legs to be just a little heavier. Release through the lower back. Release through the tendons in your ankles and the arches of your feet and every toe. Imagine the crown of your head opening, opening to that universal energy, something bigger than us. Giving it, thinking of it as a giving and receiving. Light flow, prana and energy, fully connected and fully plugged in.
Taking a deep inhale through the nose, filling up. Open the mouth and let out the air. Rock the head side to side. Wiggle the fingers and the toes and the wrists and the ankles. Guide your knees into your chest and give yourself a nice big hug. And then send it all away, reaching and stretching. Renewed, revitalized, changed in some way as we are when we come to the mat each time. Rolling over onto your side, pausing there in fetal, taking a moment. Scan the body, check in. Notice your journey on the mat today. And then in your own time, in your own way, no hurry, come to a gentle seat. Plug in the sits bones, lift up through the spine, roll the shoulders up and back. Imagine again that gentle cord through the crown of the head reaching. And then inhale, take both hands up towards the heavens, gather that energy and exhale it back in towards the heart. We'll end as we began with one shared breath in community and three ohms, deep inhale. Exhale, let it out. And inhale to ohm. Thumb knuckles rise to third eye center. Loka, Samasta, Sokita Bhavantu, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. Thank you for being here today, for being a part of ease. It truly is through the light in you that I experience the light in me. Namaste. Om Shanti, everyone. I'm going to unmute um, just so we can say our goodbyes and thank you. Thank you to all of you who have been, hello, Anne. Hi, Nancy. Um, all of you who have continued to, um, thanks for the love on Facebook, um, to do your donations and to keep your monthly memberships and attending workshops. We really appreciate it. And we will continue to be here for you. And if there's anything in particular you need, please let us know. We're happy to do all kinds of different offerings. We're bringing some teachers that um, have moved away and um, are sheltering in space. So Bernie um, Mershon, I don't know if you noticed, but that's a $10 class that we're offering. She's an amazing teacher who um, uh, is getting her MD out in California, but is sheltering in place right now. So she's gonna be doing a class. So if you get our emails, um, you know, just that's the best way to support us. South Block is open. That's another way to support us too. So and let us know how we can support you. So it's so wonderful having this routine of coming together. Happy, thanks for your donation this morning. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, love to you all. Thank you, Tara. Love you. Thank you, Tara. Keep praying and sending you. the love. Um, <laughs> take care of yourselves. Bye. 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 Bye.
Max, have you been doing some partner yoga? I saw something where your mom had you doing like yeah. um, acrobatic yoga. Acro he, likes, yoga. he likes to fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. So, we love you, Tara. This love is you. You're, you're our saving angel. Oh, yeah. yes. thanks for yeah. all your support. You're always so positive and sweet. I really appreciate it. Lisa, same to you. Hi, it's Mary. Hi, Mary. Oh. Hi, how's everybody doing? How are you all? Doing okay? Yeah, let that, let all the emotion, invite them in, like Rumi <laughs> says, just let all the emotions flow through us. Just, um, this is a, this is such interesting time to work on ourselves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, Tara. Love bye, you. Layla. Love you. See you Friday. Bye, bye. Yeah, Mary. Do you want to stay on a few minutes? How are you doing? Good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm glad I made it today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 